Hi everyone, this is Clint from Persuasive Evangelism and I'm at Lake Sacagawea by one of the fountains in the background. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Seven Days That Divide the World by John Lennox. John Lennox is one of my favorite authors. He's a professor at Oxford, a Christian. Um, he's a scientist, mathematician, and he focuses on God and science and he debates leading, uh, leading atheists across the world and lectures across the world. Um, Look him up on YouTube. You can find lots of his talks and lectures, interviews online, and also his talks about this book, which are fascinating. So uh, this focuses on Genesis, the first uh, book in the Bible, and he focuses on the first chapter in Genesis, which is the creation of the universe. In Genesis 1-1 says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So it talks about the seven days of creation and how Christians interpret that. Um, there's... So he goes over all the ways they interpret it, they go, and he goes over how Christians in the past have interpreted, which I found fa fascinating. Um, some of the ways they interpret it uh, is the 24-hour view. The days are seven 24-hour days of one Earth week about 6,000 years ago. The day age view, the days are in chronological order, each representing a period of time of unspecified length. There's also... Um, the framework view, which I hadn't, hadn't really heard of, the days exhibit a logical rather than a chronological order. And, you know, there's the um, kind of a gap view, there's gaps in between the creation days and so on. But he goes over the text and he has some great insights on that first paragraph or the first chapter in Genesis. Um, the description of the book says, uh, what did the writers of Genesis mean by the first day? Are the seven days a literal week or series of time periods? If I believe that the earth is 4.5 billion years old, am I denying the authority of scripture? With examples from history, a brief but thorough exploration of the major interpretations and a look into the particular significance of the creation of human beings, Lennox suggests that Christians can heed modern scientific knowledge while staying faithful to the biblical narrative. He moves beyond a simple response to the con to the controversy, insisting that Genesis teaches us far more about the God of Jesus Christ and about God's intention for creation than it does about the age of the earth. So, if you yeah, so if you have any um, you know questions on this, you know on you know the beginning on science and how that all works together, I totally recommend this book. Um, yeah, it's a great section appendix section at the end too with a lot of good information uh, but some of the chapters are uh, about a lesson from history a lesson from scripture the days of creation but is it old human beings a special creation i like that chapter i really like that chapter and then i really like the message of genesis one he goes through what what we can get the insights we can get from genesis one and god's intention for creation and so on um, so i totally recommend this book seven days that divide the world it's not too long it's i believe a little under 200 pages you can get on amazon and so on but that's all i had for today um, thanks everyone bye god bless